woman, um, princess or whatever she calls herself, the thunder that will fire her, the thunder is still in the deep freezer. Go in, press up. Welcome back to yet again another exciting video from Deb Deb and in today's video we shall be reviewing Skin Again Transit season 6 episode 10 that is titled It's Complicated and guys trust me this episode was really complicated as there was a whole lot of story we need to talk about so yes guys stay tuned and let's discuss this so for our character Didi so why Didi was on a program on she brought in a guest named Jen Okocha and then decided to ask this lady a question about you know marriage or who are you dating and all and then the lady was like oh she's single like how will you know she get somebody because you know she's she has two kids and that and then the lady said something how you know it's odd to find out that somebody rejects something that is precious to you and i think with the conversation jen had on the on, on the radio like it really um got didi and she started thinking about an editing situation so after the show we see that she went to see editi and you know was apologizing saying she's sorry that you know it seemed like the kids were the problem but actually it was not the kids which was her that had the problem and it was so nice to see her realizing that it was her own problem this is her dealing with this and it was just so nice and she apologized about it even when they still were like okay so what what do you want me to do like is this a pity party and oh and she's like no but i just want you to you know you know let's give this another chance let's try it again and let's see how things go and it's so nice to see how you know they were able to say Egba, Mier, Ami, Kaleo. you guys <laughs> farida <laughs> it's not that mostly muslim as we thought like guys can you believe that's farida yeah just as mohammed was sh shocked Mita was shocked even when I was watching, I was like, nah, that's not Farida. It looks like. But I'm like, wait, 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 what? That's Farida. So, yeah, <laughs> we get to see a scene where um, Mohammed is at the club and Farida is also there. And Farida is dressed in this manner, comes up to meet him. And Mohammed is shocked that, wait, why are you not covered up? What's going on? And she's like, oh, yeah, that, you know, and saying, yeah, she covered up, thinking that was what Mohammed wanted, but this is her own lifestyle. Like, this is how she actually rose and all. And then they got to discuss about, you know, the sex that happened, why they had traveled. And Mohammed is like, oh, I'm sorry, it was a mistake. And oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Farida was like, no, you were not drunk. Like, you knew what you were doing. And I'm like, okay, guys, you see how I said, it's not a mistake that he cheated because you know mm -mm, you knew what you were doing but anyways it was just so nice to see all of this and let's see what will happen between both of them <laughs> i'm here for their ship anyways moving on to wosilat i've actually even thought like wosilat had stopped at fashion school anyway she's still going and we could see in this scene where she was talking to lara lara on the design and lara is telling her how her hand to center a design wants her to replicate it because the fabric with where the person selling the clothes is expensive so I, I, auntie wants her to but there's not something just as was well, looking at the picture she didn't realize who the auntie is that the auntie is the person that ba mommy tiwa so at the end of the day we can see that this is about the about mommy tiwa money's about to come back because now they have found who are the country sir at least they have found a relative which is lara pon the design and was he come back on one to come and tell mama tiwa but apparently mama tiwa is not at home he tells ayo and ayo is strategically you know just trying to use was but anyways mama tiwa and tiwa finally went to the police to report what had happened and of course the policeman the police woman asked how did you pay the money cash you know um check like war and then yeah my matter all like his cash which you know guys from baby back which i just need that cash could it, it's not end well anyways also in this scene we see when mama tiwa is then fucking to tiwa and fucking about you know how you know let your husband in and all but there was just one thing that keeps me bothered because i think they have this their time log is really bad because if this is the moment mama tiwa is just talking to her daughter concerning oh how I lie your husband in and all of that, guys. It's over two months now because remember that doctor scene, which was a month. Now it's over like two months. With how many episodes has been out? So I'm like, so the mother waited for how many months for her to talk to her daughter concerning this particular matter and telling her daughter to open up and all. But anyways, let's just move on. I appreciate the fact that Mama Tiwa still addressed all of this. It was beautiful to see and all. And then Tiwa they tried to shade her mother. I was like, Mama, you've not called Wolio. You? And Mama was like, Oh, let her call Wolio. Mama, bag me. The money is paying you. In this episode, we see that you know that money really enter Mama Tiwa's body. Moving on to Tiwa and Mide. Now we see in this episode where Mide then tells her about 
about you know the sponsorship and all of that and we finally realized that the sponsorship that they lost then went to Fabrice's um, station you guys remember all Fabrice's from way episode Fabrice and Tiwa had one or two back then and all and Tiwa is like oh like is this a, is it like Fabrice you know he's still like on scene how to date and all you know from that we see the scene where me did then you know he's asking ask, um, Tiwa for something saying that you know he wants Tiwa to take up you know the running of the of the of the um, radio station and all and that he wants Tiwa he needs Tiwa and all like seriously begging her and then Tiwa says no and oh that scene was really I was like okay what's going on what's going on it really got me thinking ever since I since I watched it because I was like wait why would you say no like you could see that this is your uh, well your husband's um, business also you work there now you're married to him and all and he needs you you can see that this guy he needs you like he's really having a bad time and all like he can't really pull all of this with everything he has in mind to do why would you say no but later i thought about it that okay because i actually thought it was just tiba being selfish but yes again i'm like yeah she signed a deal with with the she had the contracts with those um abc we she just gonna throw it and then just come and start like we, we, things need to be balanced and all and i get it it looks selfish but again like things have gone down like she had signed contract is she just gonna flip the contract away like what were those terms of contract but yeah so guys what do you think should she come to support her husband leave abc and just focus on this their radio station or what do you think guys please drop your comments in the comment section i want to see what you think because i'm a daniel there like i'm on the fence in this matter so yeah moving on to the last character of this episode which is kwame and shalewa kwame comes you know what happened in last episode you've not seen it go and watch it i'll leave the link below and then we see when you know kwame comes to the house to apologize he bought her flower i say wow in your dsf <laughs> i bought flower I was also noticing that Oga did not, you know, post straight code of Baleki Yatiwa. I say, what? Mama Tiwa, you are not even talking about that. You are saying it's fine. You are saying you should sit down. You are sure Shaliwa would like the flower. I say, Mama Tiwa, what's going on? <laughs> anyway, moving on. Shaliwa comes, he's begging Shaliwa that he wants to buy flower. He made sure he spent the other looking for flower that were half as beautiful as her. I say, wow, you really have sugar mouth, sir. You have sugar mouth. Your mouth is sweet. He begs her. And of course, Shaliwa, you know, forgives him and all scene of the episode where, you know, they were together, they were dancing, they were drinking, and all. We could clearly see that Shaliwa was drunk, and, you know, they were all dancing. A call came in and he, and Shaliwa said oh go 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 pick up the call and oh and he picks up the call and why Shaliwa you know still all drunk and oh anyways guys the glass cup she was holding fell and broke and that was where it all happened or God did what he reset her face because I don't, I don't get it guys I like when I was I said I said what like I screamed when I saw it he reset like he slapped her he reset her face just because the glass fell from her hand right from the last episode those were traces those were red flag bad or guy with a very violent person but here we are seeing all of this it's mad it's mad Ha, huh, Shalua just received slap like that. My God, it's okay. That's the end of today's episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and share this video. And guys, let's get talking in the comment section below. Thank you. And to my next video, stay blessed.